wind's getting worse. Yeah. It's coming right at her back now. Yeah, there's a big one right in the middle of that bunch. Yeah, there's two of them over there. Yeah, they broke out pretty nicely, kind of slow, and yeah, it was a good stalk, good setup. Yeah, just not what we're looking for. Yeah, when you got that many bodies, you just got to get in them to yeah. find out what you got. Yeah, well, no, that was fun. Good hunt. <laughs> now we're buffalo hunting. Argentina's water buffalo are showing Chris Dorsey and David Morris how tough they can be. We walk and we walk and we walk. We ride and we glass, we look, we see buffalo, we make stalks and we come up short. And you know, there's always that element of danger. They've talked about since we've been here, several accidents or incidents where these buffalo have charged. All the guides here have experiences, you know, whether these things have charged trucks, hit them, chased them up trees. When we came to catch and we found the buffalo, we pegamos un tiro, entró, entró baleado al, a una hileta, lo metemos a la hileta, da la vuelta el búfalo, habíamos dejado la camioneta afuera, la golpeó, la golpeó dos veces. Nosotros dimos la vuelta y bueno, tuvimos la suerte de poderlo, de poderlo matar. Da la vuelta el búfalo, habíamos dejado la camioneta afuera, golpeó la golpeó dos veces a la camioneta del búfalo. Tuvimos la suerte de poderlo, de poderlo matar. This is really classic spot and stalk buffalo hunting. I mean, it's you get out, you do a little bit of tracking, but they don't have the trackers here like you'd see in Africa. So that's really the biggest difference between hunting these buffalo and, and the Cape buffalo in Africa. Wind's good if they're back in here. Good wind. wind and light. Yeah. Just covered in mud. Put the big ones in there. Yeah, it's a big one. The middle one's a big one. And we get into this little trio of bulls. I mean, it's uh, two dandy bulls, one mediocre bull, and they're sort of bedding down and alternating bedding down and standing up. So the two on either side of the tree, the, That's the, big the muddy ones are the big guys. Yeah. Yeah. I hope they come when they get up. I hope they come right through here. We're yeah. in a perfect position. Pop through here. Wind's perfect too. And I don't care either one. I think either one of them. Okay. I just let them clear. Yeah. If they break down behind us, they'll have to get up and just pop Move back. Quick, see what happens. Yeah. Make the best of it. Now this is just a time for patience. We're in good shape. They have no idea we're here. Gerardo made a big circle around thinking he'd just kind of nudge him and get him up and have him kind of walk by. Well, as soon as they caught scent of him, they get up and they're rocketing out of there. There you go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Go ahead. Too far. We'll take it, Dave. We'll take it. He's hit hard. Behind his shoulder, it looked like yeah. to me. Yeah, he's hit hard. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Oh, hit him again. Hit him, hit him. Hit him, hit him again, hit him hit again. Him. That'll do it. That'll do it. That is a tough hombre. <laughs> Gee, that is a tough That's son a of a gun. That's a lot of beef.
Yeah, they're tough, aren't they? Look at that. Look at this critter. Yay, yay, yay. He's finally done. Yeah. We were in awe of this animal. We were absolutely in awe. It was exactly like Cape Buffalo honey, except the thing was even bigger. Look at the massive neck on this thing. Chris. Look at the bone structure in this guy, oh, huh? Oh my goodness. I'm impressed. I, I am impressed. It feels good. I wanted Chris to get him because <laughs> we were in position. Come on, let's go, let's go. Ready? The right one. But they bunched up and we couldn't get a shot till they got too far off. And Chris yelled at me, take the shot. I can't shoot, he's too far. Too far. You okay. take him, David. We'll take, take him. him. I don't know that much about uh, Asian buffalo, but I know this is a big one. We'll hit him again. And hit I know he did not want to go down. It's, it's just amazing how much lead these things will take. Bring in the bulldozer. <laughs> so Chris and I had a big celebration that afternoon. We had a buffalo down, but little did I know how difficult it was going to be from that point forward. Another day here in Argentina of buffalo hunting. Seeing a buffalo at two, three hundred yards and getting up within rifle range of those things are two entirely different things. Gerardo is, is taking us into this herd, and we've got a nice bull that has broken off to the left, and he's kind of circling around. And these buffalo are always on the move. They never seem to sit still, so you're always trying to predict their path. But trying to get up on him without the other one seeing us was really the challenge. I ease out to get a shot on him. He's behind a little bit of a, a bush. And all of a sudden I hear a snort from one of the other buffalo. They're taking off. This guy's gonna take off any second. Bust him. Thank you. Get up to the top of the hill. Last spot I saw him. Thinking maybe he, he tipped over up there. That's the last spot I saw him. Not only is he not there, there's no blood. There's a bit of a track, but no blood. This way. We start going into the thick stuff. At this point, I, I switched to the 458 double. So we eased up there. We were very, very careful because now a wounded buffalo in a thicket, this is when you could have a potential problem. Look like he headed to the right, huh? Yeah, he was. Hang with it. Last I saw him, he was heading to the right. I, I am switched on, man. I mean, this buffalo could come from any direction. Felt like he was mortally hit, but you never know, right? They're never down until you, you basically tap them and know they're down. Yeah, go. No. no twitching. No twitching. Oh man. See. Bueno, huh? Bueno, amigo. <laughs> Muchas gracias. It's good, eh? Beautiful. Well, that was right western as the saying goes. It was a rodeo, wasn't it? Oh my goodness. Just a rodeo. <laughs> Just look at that. <laughs> could, could we supersize that, please? <laughs> I mean, look at that. Oh, I know it. Unbelievable. What a brute. Huge. Oh. Congratulations, man. Yeah. Awesome job. Good to be with you, buddy. Awesome job. Me too, man. Yeah, you hammered him. You put it right square in the center of the shoulder. You got it. Hey, how could this animal eat that much lead and keep going? Okay, drop him right there. Busting you. Busting you shooting, Chris. Yeah, we go up there and, and the bull is kaput. Big, magnificent bull. Again, these things are so massive. Maybe 20, 25% bigger than Cape Buffalo. That's really hard to fathom. Boy, I just brought that down, you know? You come back and get a photo. Let's see. This Woo, was, buddy. <laughs> this was one of those deals that, praise the Lord, past ammunition was in place. Finally, we had him. Chris had a buffalo down, I had a buffalo down. So we celebrated that one, came back to camp. 
to me, it's, it's a shame I haven't done this before, but I tell you what, I will do it again because it really is one of the greatest values, one of the greatest hunting experiences you can have anywhere in the world. I knew before we got here, we were going to be in for an adventure and fast, nonstop action. It exceeded my expectations.